All right, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chad, number one dummy. And lately on Facebook and Instagram and things like that, I've been noticing that a lot of people are having trouble with uh, loading up Avenza maps and waypoints and tracks and things like that on their maps. Uh, so today I'm going to kind of go through on a Android as well as an iPhone and show you how to do it um, from getting a map to going ahead and actually putting a track on such as the Florida Adventure Trail or the Georgia Traverse or whatever you're looking to put on there. So stay tuned and we'll show you guys how to get it done. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Avenza app. From here we are going to click on the plus sign and we are going to download a map. Uh, right up here at the top you'll see where it says maps from the store. Click on that. Alright, so once you get there you're going to want to click on the map down at the bottom and then scroll down to where the area is that you are looking for. So in my case I was looking for the Ocala National Forest. So I zoomed in there and you can see it there. I clicked on that and then I just scrolled through until I found the motor vehicle usage map. And there it is. So it's free. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, once you're sure you got the right map, go ahead and hit download. So that looks like the one that I want. And it will process and download to your Avenza app. Alright, from here you can either open the map directly from there or go back to my maps and open it that way. And there's the Ocala National Forest. So one of the things that I like to do is click on that little eye that's up there. And then you can go down to where the details are of the map and you can change the map's name. So I like to take out all this extra stuff and just leave it Ocala National Forest. Once you're done with that, you just click back and it saves it for you. All right, so another cool feature is uh, that you can leave waypoints. So this is the Hopkins Prairie and the road with the primitive sites. Uh, you just hold down, this screen will come up. You can rename the symbol. In this case, I'm putting campsite. And you can scroll down and you can add photos, descriptions, all that good stuff, attributes. And then you can go back up and click on the symbol here and it will give you all the different style symbols that it has. I'm pretty simple so I just stick with the red one. You just hit the check mark there and there it is on your map. Alright so now let's go ahead and add a layer. In order to do that there's these three stacks of what looks like paper down at the bottom right click on those it'll bring up this screen then you're gonna hit the three dashes down here at the bottom it's gonna pop up you're gonna hit import layers you're gonna scroll down until you find cloud storage or device once you do that all of your files that are on your phone are gonna pop up and the easiest way to find one find what you need is just to hit that uh, search icon and then start typing in what it is so in my case I'm looking for the Florida Adventure Trail. I type in the Florida and there's the Florida Adventure Trail. Click on that and it immediately starts to download. And once it's downloads, it shows you everything that it has in that file. I can now go back and there's the file uh, overlaid over my Ocala Avenza map. And you can scroll in click on things that says sugar sand through here you got this some encouraging words from John uh, there's a Delaney campground or Lake Delancey campground alright so that's how it's done on the Android let's switch over to the iPhone so let's jump into the iPhone the first way we're gonna do it is to click the layers at the bottom uh, click on the box with the down arrow at the top from here we're gonna go to from storage locations right in the middle That'll bring up all your storage, all your files that you have on storage. I'm clicking on Osceola National Forest. It immediately starts to download. Now from here, I'll go back to my maps. I'll click on the map that I want, which is the Ocala or Osceola National Forest. I will then click on the three pieces of paper at the bottom for layers, the plus sign at the top. 
I will go then to link layers. Once I click on that, I found the Osceola National Forest 100 features that I put in. Click that. It is now linked to the Osceola National Forest. And there it is. All right, so the other way to do it is to go into the map itself. From there, you go down to the three sheets of paper link at the bottom, the plus sign at the top, import layers this time. From there, it'll still be from storage locations. Same thing pops up. Click on the uh, Osceola National Forest, and it links it to that map. And you can go back, and there are, there are all your markers. If you have the Florida Adventure Trail, it will be on there. Same thing. And that's how it's done for the iPhone. All right, so that's how it's done. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments, and uh, I'll answer them as fast as I can. And if I miss something, I'll go back and redo it. Uh, whatever you guys need, I want to make sure you guys can get these tracks put on there. Uh, and this was a very short, very quick video. Um, some people were asking me on Facebook and things like that and Instagram about how they can get these tracks done. They're having trouble, so I just tried to make a real quick video uh, to show you how to do it. Um, if you want me to go back and do it more in depth, please let me know and what sections you want me to do, uh, what sections of the video you want me to do, and uh, I'll make sure to get it done for you guys. All right, thanks a lot. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.